Okay, this is 3004 Morning Ridge Drive. It's in Sun City, Summerlin. We're right down on the eastern edge of Sun City, Summerlin. And uh, the exterior looks great. The HOA here has been known to be uh, aggressive. <laughs> so most of the houses, as you can see around me here, they always look good on the outside because the HOA is sometimes uh, overbearing. What? Uh, got a train condenser out here. I already know all these houses have gas furnaces in them. So that's going to be a straight cool machine. Double garage, two car garage, really simple landscaping with some artificial turf and a couple of great big trees. These are the kind of palm trees that grow dates, I think. If you got a male and a female there, you might get some fruit. And some people think that's cool. Me included. So the red door looks nice. You got shutters uh, at the front window. And that's the western exposure. So this is where all the summertime heat hits this side of the house, which is good because most of the living happens in the back of the house where you spend your time. So the, 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 the windows and the part of the house is gonna be absorbing all the heat from the summertime is gonna be on this side. So you got a garage out front, front windows, and you got, this is a, a spare bedroom here. And um, it's not a hot day, it's probably only about 80 degrees today. And uh, certainly uh, not a great day to judge it, but most of these houses do pretty well. They were designed well, as far as like dealing with the heat. If I didn't know better, I'd say this house is a flip or at least a recent renovation. Everything is in really good condition. Just from the first glance, you got a brand new fixtures. The floor doesn't look like there's any wear and tear on it at all. This looks like a wood laminate. It could be vinyl, it's probably vinyl. And it's modern-ish, you know? It's got features that are consistent with newer houses. So you're gonna find a gas furnace up there, probably. Oh no, no, these are in the garage, actually. So this is the master bath. Stand-up shower, walk-in, no tub. Yeah, these are all like the Edison bulbs. I call this, it looks like it may have been updated recently. The paint is perfect. So is the exterior. The exterior looks like it's been painted recently. It's got the original windows, but they all look like they're in great condition. I don't see any of that little like foggy, cloudy stuff indicating the radon has leaked. Yeah, great big return duct there, so we'll find the rest of the HVAC in the garage. Yeah, there's kind of a faux fireplace here with a, a kind of a shelf and an area for a big TV up there. This is all consistent with like a modern uh, setup, so I think this was remodeled almost entirely recently. Brand new appliances. If it's a flip, it was re done really well. This is great. Then you got like kind of a utility room. So it's two bedroom, two bath, utility room there. Where's the laundry? Did I walk right by it? Oh no, there it is. Yep, laundry here, gas water heater, gas furnace. And there's the indoor portion of that train air conditioner. You got the furnace down here, gas. And this is a carrier, so this, this this is probably the original, and then the air conditioner was replaced with the train later. Uh, that'd be my guess. Now there's a gas line for the dryer and the plumbing. There's a loop for the water softener here, but there, there is no water softener. There's a little step down here, like a ramp going down, and then a step here for the garage that has some storage cabinets built in, which is nice. And an insulated garage door, which is really cool. And this is uh, it's a good motor, and there's a great big double spring on here, twice the size of what you would normal see, normally see because the door's insulated, uh, making it a lot heavier. 
A lot of times what you see is two springs, and that's just one big giant spring. And exterior door off the garage. This one sure is nice. It is uh, age restricted. I believe it's 55 and over in this area. And it's listed at 590,000. It feels high to me. Yeah, it says it's um, recently remodeled, completely remodeled. Blah -de blah blah. There's uh, about 18, 19, say somewhere around $1,900 for new buyers pay an additional, what we call a Nora fee in this area of Summerlin. That stands for New Owner Reserve Assessment. And um, it's not cheap, it's about 1,900 bucks, but I can tell you that uh, everyone who lives here loves it. So it may not be right for everyone, but it is great. Um, if, if you're comfortable with the fees, the door handle's all loose. So in the way of, uh, I've given this thing a great review, but in the way of like equal time here, the downside is you got, uh, what is this here, Rampart? Well, it's Fort Apache, it turns into Rampart at some point right around here, so. But this is a major artery. It's a six lane road. There is some traffic noise and this never stops. What you see here with the traffic will go around the clock seven days a week. And so that's a little bit of a, uh, the downside, but it's not bad. You know, inside I heard zero traffic noise, but you would definitely get the traffic noise from the backyard. Original windows again, that big slider, it's real nice. Um, the, the rollers feel a little bit sticky, so that's gonna be the original uh, sliding door, but it looks like it's in shape. Uh, three, four hundred dollars with a handyman to replace the rollers, it'll be good as new. Um, let's see what else we can learn. It's built in 1989. Yeah, there it is. The Nora fee is $883. And the regular um, association fees are $173 a month. And uh, they do go, they do a tick up. Uh, HOA fees are like taxes pretty generally, except taxes sometimes go down. Yeah, I've never... I've never even heard of a, <laughs> of, a, of a regular monthly HOA dues going down. Uh, anyway, that is, what was it? 3004 Morning Ridge Drive in Sun City, Summerlin. Age restricted, 55 and over here. Really, really slick renovation. It's good quality and I like it a lot. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day.